All right, guys. Well, I tell you, I noticed something interesting in that game, and I've noticed this before as we played here. I've noticed this today because of the article I was just writing. So as you know, um, uh, I'm uh, recording these. Right now, we're up to probably around a month in advance. It's going to be right before Christmas time, I think, that you see this video. But there's something really, really interesting that I saw when I was... Um, uh, uh, looking around at these uh, cards today, I thought I'd give you a little bit of um, insight here um, into something I don't know too much about for the holiday season. So um, I was uh, earlier today writing um, the first of uh, at least a series of at least two articles um, for the blog about uh, play result number 23 in national pastime. 23 is infamous in national pastime and also among um, traditional APA card makers as being the mark of the pitcher. Um, traditionally, um, only pitchers would have a 23. Um, and uh, in national pastime, it literally is only pitchers that get the 23. Now, the placement of the 23 kind of varies, and um, it seems to be um, a little bit random. I'm having a hard time really pinning down exactly where it's supposed to go. Now, the thing that I noticed that was interesting, and we'll go take a look at this here, is on the Cubs, when you go look at this guy, Tinker, Joe Tinker just so happens to have a 43 sitting right there on 20 on uh, dice roll 22, which is fascinating to me. 23, if you look at the boards, in fact, we can go look at the boards right now. 23 traditionally in the national pastime tradition um, is uh, not really much of a result, right? So um, it ends up being an air here in national pastime with uh, nobody on base. It's an error with all three fielding positions. With a runner on at first base, it's a runner out stealing and ejected for disputing the decision. It can also be a balk. Uh, with the fielding two, actually, the runner's safe and goes to third. And um, same thing with the 23. So it's kind of turned into an error rule there. Same thing with the uh, runner on second base. The runner's out stealing third with fielding one and with fielding two, unless there's two outs. Fielding three, um, he's safe, um, unless there's two outs, then it changes. Interesting. Uh, with a runner on third base, it's a single and a very rare play, or a bog, when fielding one. And it looks like it's the same for all three fielding situations. That, by the way, is different from national pastime. I know because I was just looking through it. It's a foul strike that injures the catcher with runners on first and second. Um, with fielding one, fielding two, the uh, pitcher is ejected from the game. Fielding three, the catcher is ejected from the game. That's got to be rare. I don't know if I've ever seen a game where the catcher was ejected for disputing the umpire's decision on a ball strike call. I don't think I've ever seen that. Famously, with runners on first and third, 23 is always being a, the game called because of rain. Or in a dome, electrical failure, which is fun. Thank you, Bill. Um, it's a triple play with uh, 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 fielding one um, and runners on a second and third. That's a real rare triple play. Um, and it's going to be a triple play, actually, with all three um, fielding situations. That's a rare one. And with the bases loaded, um, it's hit by a pitch or a, a basic uh, out at first. There is one of these that's the um, uh, header is um, people are ejected from the game as well. So as you can see, it's mostly just sort of like a rare play is what it is, right? And it used to be always, you know, the pitcher that would have this result. If we look through the uh, pitcher's cards, I'm curious to know if we see them. So Three Finger Brown has one. Chuck Fraser, does he have a uh, 23? Yes, he has one at 55. Um, Rube Crow, does he have a uh, 23 is the question. Do you see a 23 here? Yes, it's on 44. This is a game of Where's Waldo? Carl Lundgren, we can look here as well. And I'm not sure unless I missed it somewhere. Usually, there it is, 51. So usually, this will show up on um, so-called hit numbers, um, which it sort of seems to be the case for National Pastime. It's on 13 for Bill Mack, but not always the case. We could go through these pictures probably one by one the whole uh, way. Now, the real fun thing is to check out the uh, 22, which is also on all pitchers cards in National Pastime. Um, I'm not sure if that's the case here or not. Now, if we go through here, you'll notice that guys like Frank Chance don't have that uh, 23. This guy doesn't. Uh, Evers, does the second baseman have it? No. Interesting that the shortstop would have it, which um, uh, might be a little window of insight into sort of the uh, creation method of the cards. So we know that Tinker has one on 42. That's sort of the interesting thing. Now, what I want to look at, I'm going to change over here to another season I happen to have, 1982. This was the first NP3 season that I got. Um, and uh, we're going to look here really quick. I'm sort of curious to know um, if a certain player has this. So we'll go over here to the Cardinals. 
We'll take a quick look over here at our good friend Ozzy, and look at that, 42.23 for Ozzy Smith. So that's a real interesting thing to notice because um, it seems to me that um, uh, NP3 cards sort of follow that old tradition, but um, with a little bit of uh, a little bit extra that's mixed in. I haven't looked through the whole thing, and of course, I haven't um, dug so deep into NP3 that I'm going to create uh, spreadsheets and try to reverse engineer the game the way that I've been looking at National Pastime. We are a long way away from trying a project like that. I just think that it's interesting to note that um, you'll see a lot of guys who have um, are, or are shortstops who also have that sort of mythical 23 role. 23 is one of the more fascinating roles in the history of National Pastime in APA um, because it really doesn't mean a whole lot, and there's only a certain type of player that winds up getting it. So um, there you have it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.